Hello and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you this CCTV camera from Tuokan. This is a 1080p CCTV camera with built-in spotlight and is advertised it as no subscription required. Uh, basically, they will allow you to store 24 hours of footage on the cloud server so you can access that anywhere in the world, providing your phone have the app and the necessary internet access. Now, I'm pretty sure you can store the recorded footage for a lot longer on the server, but then you will have to pay them. Tokan company, I think they are quite famous and they do have a Birmingham office stated on the box, but how good are they? This will be like your all-in-one CCTV camera because they are kind of wireless to transfer data. You still need to supply power to the camera itself but it also has two ways audio that you can talk to whoever in front of the camera and also have a siren. So you can set it up as a uh, alarm as well. So if people come across the path of the camera, not only it will record, it can also sound the alarm to warn them of your properties. So how good are they? Let's find out. Now this product here was sent to me by Amazon, not by Tokan. So it shouldn't affect the way how I rate the camera. But more importantly, my video is not scripted. All I'm doing is show you what your money can buy so you can make an informed decision when you purchase CCTV camera. There is a lot of packaging for a simple CCTV camera. There's a lot of other similar camera that I have tested and they come in a smaller box. And there's a lot more details on the box regarding the product itself. So if it is sitting on the shelf in the shop, I think this will attract a lot more customers. So packaging wise is really well packaged. So inside the box, you have some stickers. Always a good idea to warn people that you have CCTV itself could be a deterrent. So this is the power adapter for your camera. It comes with like a Euro 2 pin or UK 3 pin here. Oh, that's good. So most of my video, I complained about how short the cable is. Uh, this one here gave you already included extension cable. I mean, they are 12 volt uh, extension cable that you can easily get anywhere but it's nice to see that they actually give you a uh, cable already and it matches the color of the rest of the system. Uh, that's a bit disappointing. So you got a plastic uh, base plate and a metal rod. The mount itself is not bad. It's a metal mount, but the base plate is made of plastic. I mean, if you hang it up high, it shouldn't really matter because um, away from sunlight, Plastic will last just as long as anything else, but it will be nice to see that, you know, and give you a bit more solid material instead of plastic. And then you have the camera itself. Now, this is quite big compared to your normal, uh, you know, CCTV camera. Even the one with battery built in is a bit smaller than this. You got power um, socket underneath right here, which is good. So the rainwater won't get in because it will just slide off the top. Um, your speaker um, outlet is on the bottom as well. Hopefully when you mount it, so all the rainwater wouldn't have a chance to get in. Plastic construction, 34, 35, 36. So I counted 36 individual LEDs in here. And then I think there are six, three on each side of the infrared. The camera lens is in the front right here. Antenna is already attached on the front back here and it says do not force the antenna into a position or attempt to remove the antenna as this might damage the device. And um, just a comparison, so you got your Tokan uh, CCTV spotlight camera here and you got the Arrow, which is the one I use the most at home. This one has a battery building, this one doesn't, and this one is a lot chunkier than this, even though this one has a battery and this one doesn't. In terms of presence, sometimes, you know, when people walk past my house, they might not realize that there is a CCTV camera there. Obviously, you can put out stickers around the house so that people kind of warn people that you have here. But this one here, if it is overlooking your front house, I'm sure that, you know, it can't be missed because you can actually see the spotlight as well, which is a good thing if you don't want to be discreet. And it comes with some screw and wall plugs, which I never use, and uh, some cables cable clips to keep everything nice and tidy. In terms of power supply, it is a 12 volt 
power supply, 24 watts. And in terms of power, they don't usually use that amount of power anyway, but this is considering a very low power consumption device. So now we had a look at what comes with the box. So I'm going to install it and show you guys what this can and what it can do. Um, one of the reasons why we choose like a big brand like Tokan is hopefully that their app is absolutely polished and the user experience is fantastic, easy to use, easy to install. That's what they are marketed for. So let's try that out. Let's see how long it takes me to install this. Okay, so now the camera is connected to the power. I'm simply mounted onto this device here so I can move it about and test it. So now it's time to install the app. On the side of the box here is say Tukan Smart Home, which is the um, app for you to monitor your camera and to control it. So I'm gonna use my iPhone to scan the code. And then you say will in App Store is 4.5 stars rating out of 490 people. So this is, like I say, this is a kind of a branded C CCTV and a lot of people are using it already. I'm going to choose UK because I am in England. And then you have to register an account with Token. Once you've got the app running and you have logged on, it will have kind of a guide to you. And then you can add new device. And then you choose your camera here. Obviously they do doorbell camera and other things. So mine is security light camera. And then you can choose a name for it or you can type in your own custom name. I'm just going to choose, let's say front porch. And they will ask you if you're allowed like um, location. I usually say allowed while using the app. And then use Bluetooth. Now you need to tell them your internet access so that the camera can connect to your router. So every step of the way, it should teach you how to connect to the camera. So far, you say hold the button for three seconds behind. So let me see if I can do that with one hand. The device is initializing. Okay, so there's a voice prompt saying that is being initializing. And then go to next. Setup is in progress. And that's it. This is, I mean, relatively easy. Most of the CCTV camera on the market right now, as long as you can follow the phone instructions, as long as you got your Wi-Fi password correct, and it should be fine. If you're at home and trying to um, looking for installing, succeeded. You can use your device now. So if you're at home and trying to install your own CCTV camera, don't be afraid. Um, watch some video like this one and then you can get a grasp of how to install it. It's quite easy. Literally two screws onto the wall and you know you can mount the camera. But anyway, so let's do finish. And the thing I like about the app nowadays is that they teach you how everything works anyway. So I don't even need to look at the instruction booklet. I just follow the, the prompt on my phone. You have a free token account. This is what is included for free. So you got one share per camera, 24 hours recording, uh, video download, you can download five per month. And the clip is 30 seconds or 90 seconds. I don't know what that means. They got an asteroid on there. Uh, okay, so outdoor camera and video doorbell is 30 seconds. Security light camera is 90 seconds. So if you have this camera here, they allow you to record up to 90 seconds of footage. So there are restrictions on what you can do with the free account. But if you want more, then you have to pay. So for £2.99 more, I guess you get the pro version, which you can give you like longer recording uh, time as such. But I am a cheapskate, so I don't. So I don't usually do that. So onto the main screen of the app, front porch camera is online with a green button. So if you click on that, again, it kind of, oh, let me turn the volume down. So again, it kind of tells you what So again, it kind of tells you what your camera can, can do. So let's make it into a big screen.
and that's it. The camera is up and running. Um, it is a two-way system, so every time you click onto your camera and you can talk to it. Hello? 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 And you can sound the sirens. And then some, this is the thing. So um, sometimes it's like, if you answer the phone, um, if you answer the camera and someone is in front of it, they already know that you're not in the house. So sometimes it's nice to have this kind of a preset. So. Hello, who is it? How can I help you? No soliciting, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Um, anyway, so you got some preset messages that you can play on the camera while you're not there. Oh, I'm still here. Try to kick me off. Um, you can record the footage, you can take uh, screenshots. Um, SOS, this is new, so... So you can call 999, which I don't recommend doing it right now. I don't want to get into trouble. And you got options of turning on the spotlight or turning off the spotlight. Sometimes you already want some, like for example, if you want some light on your driveway, you can, oh my God, that is bright. So you can turn that on for, let's say a minute. Or up to like two hours if you need to. If you're working on your driveway and you need light, you can, you can use that as a utility light. And my studio right now is fully lit and this is still really, really bright. So I'm pretty sure that, you know, this, this will light up, you know, my whole of my driveway. They do say like six to eight feet minimum, but I can see that this one will, will be enough. Don't know if you can see it, but as soon as um, it sends me moving in the front, it show up a notification to tell me that a um, motion is detected. But anyway, let me show you this. So one of the big function about this camera is the light. I've already told you there are 36 LED lights in the front, but you can also go to light setting. And when something is moving in front of it, you can choose how bright it goes. Most people will just leave onto full brightness and you can choose how long it stay on. And you can also choose when the, when the sensor lights start to work. So you don't have to have it on all the time. Most people just leave it. But there is also a function which is light schedule, which is which I think is fantastic. Let's say uh, in the British winter time, you know, we get darks very early. You can actually set timer for the lights to come on. Let's say I come home from work at around five, between five to eight o'clock, and by five it's already dark. You can actually ask the um, the light to turn on at a, sp a specific time and turn off at a specific time. So that become a functional light to make sure that when you open the door, your driveway is fully lit example, and you don't have to wait for a motion detection. In terms of picture quality, it is a 1080p, but it is an okay 1080p. You can pinch in to zoom in. For example, I can see my drill bits there. The Bosch signs kind of a bit uh, smudged, but when you zoom out, it looks really clear on the phone. Okay, so I just pressed the recording on my phone, so it should be recording whatever I'm doing right now. This is the testing of the Chokan Smart Home app with the security light CCTV camera. This is 1080p. Um, I'm length away from the lens right here, and my studio here is fully lit. So I think this is great for people who have no experience on CCTV camera at all. And I think the Tokan did a really good job um, compared to some of the other, for example, Chinese uh, cheap CCTV camera that I tested. 
So a free account will allow you to look at events uh, from the past 24 hours and download up to five videos per month. If you upgrade to the Pro or Elite, which is around £2.99, I think, um, it will extend to history of seven or 90 days. Enjoy unlimited downloads and store a maximum of 10 important events on the Token Cloud. Um, the free version, you can only see the last 24 hours, which is usually enough unless you, um, you are away on holiday for a few weeks and you never look at your phone, for example, and you need to look at so something that happens in the week, then of course it's not there. But if you're at work, you can't answer the door, and something happened and you want to download the clip, it will always be here. So this is the event screen on the app. So it tells you what happened in front of the camera so far. Obviously, it's only me here because uh, I'm testing camera, but you got the little man running logo, uh, little running man logo there, indicate that this is a motion activation. And it tells you the duration of the clip. So this is playing back from the cloud server. So when you recorded the footage from the camera, it gets sent to the server and gets stored. With uh, internet access, you don't have to be at home, you can be at work, you can be anywhere in the world, and you can always review the clips that is stored on the cloud server. If you unplug the camera, obviously it will go offline. Just like your house out of power, but once you apply power, it should come back up like nothing has ever happened. And one thing that it didn't do for me is that um, it didn't detect it offline, so it didn't give me an offline message. Some camera do, but this one doesn't. Does it work? Yeah. So yeah, that's that's right there. It looks like a bit of inception right here. There is like a second delay, but it's not too bad. Oh no, the signal dropped. So it looks like this is a limit of my Wi-Fi signal. So if you do have a big garden and you're planning to put this outside your house, um, this might be the furthest that you can go. Or if your router is going through double layer of walls, then it might be even shorter. I would say this is about 12 meters to my router inside my studio. So the final test of today will be the night vision. So at the moment, the light is still on, uh, the studio light is still fully lit at the moment. So at the moment, everything is still nice and colorful. Okay, so now we are in uh, kind of a peach black. My DSLR couldn't pick up me anymore, but this one can. But the spotlight is not coming on. So this will be a test for the infrared lights. I can see a couple of red light dots right there. And I'm going to move all the way back. Hopefully I don't trip over myself. Okay, so I can still see the blue LED light. And I can also see the uh, infrared LED right there. Okay, so now if I turn on the spotlight. Wait. There we go. So this should be on full power at the moment. Now on the setting, you can set it up to um, turn on spotlight when it detects motion. And that's usually how you will use this kind of uh, CCTV camera. I mean, from pitch back to lit up the whole space right here. I mean, obviously there is a bit of a wall which is blocking the light on this end here, but you can see, I can see as far as the other side of the room where it's fully lit. And it's actually too bright to look at the camera right now. 
All right, so now the spotlight is off. As soon as I move into frame where the radar detects me and then the light will switch on. There we go. So that's how this CCTV should work. And that's how most of the CCTV will work with a spotlight. So that's my end of the testing. Thank you very much for watching. I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadget. Bye bye.